British society, particularly that of a political nature, in the early 20th century was profoundly different to that which we recognise and rejoice in today. The equality and fair representation that we as a nation hold dear and champion has not, unfortunately, always been so prevalent. The area of inequality of which I'm speaking today relates directly to voting laws, and in particular the fight for women's suffrage, which finally prevailed in 1928. This year saw much needed change made to archaic, divisive and inarguably unfair laws which deprived whole societal sections of the democratic right to vote. Upon hearing the words suffragist and suffragette, it is inevitable to think of high-profile activists such as Emmeline and Christabel Pankhurst, to whom lovers of democracy, like myself, owe so much. However, I believe that it is of utmost importance to recognise lesser known individuals who also gave so much to the cause in which they believed. I would like to shine the light on some less recognised names of which it is unlikely you are aware. Marion Wallace Dunlop was the first activist to hunger strike whilst imprisoned and gave up her own right to eat to defy her silences to continue to raise awareness of her right to vote. Caroline Norton tirelessly campaigned for suffrage as well as for changes to divorce laws so other women like herself could break free from abusive marriages. Some alterations implemented as a result of Caroline's dedication still stand and empower women today. And finally, Dora Montefiore initiated the successful campaign No Taxation Without Representation and endured personal intimidation from various sources in the name of her beliefs. As a young female, I admire the dedication and wholehearted commitment of those before me who have campaigned for rightful change, and these females in particular inspire me to do the same. I can learn from the lives of the Pankhurst sisters Marion Wallace, Caroline Norton and Dora Montefiore that I too can leave a legacy.